for viewing the Casio Dual Projection System Quick Start Setup Video. This setup procedure applies to all models. Before getting started, you'll need a medium Phillips head screwdriver. You will also need a power strip, extension cord, and a cable from your source. We are using an HDMI cable. Before assembly, Unpack the box and check that you have all these components. For the purpose of this video, we will make all adjustments with the unit on a tabletop. Locate and install the four feet into the corresponding holes on the bottom of the unit. Put the unit on the table. In this position, the stationary projector A is the top projector and the adjustable projector B is on the bottom. Open the access doors to expose the inputs on the back of both projectors. We're ready to start the wiring. Locate the two serial cables. Plug in one serial cable to serial output A on the control box and plug the other end into projector A's serial input. Finger tighten both cable connector screws. Remember to wrap the excess cables neatly to fit inside the door when closed. Repeat the process with the other serial cable for projector B. Continue with the HDMI cables, plugging one end into the control box's HDMI output A and the other end into the projector A's HDMI input. Repeat the process with the other HDMI cable for projector B. Plug both power cords into projectors A and B, but only plug A into the power strip. Plug the power supply cord end into the control box, routing the other end to the power strip, but don't plug it in yet. Next, we need to configure each projector menu individually. Using the projector remote, press the power button to turn on projector A. Press input and select HDMI. Press enter. Then press escape. Press the menu button and make the following menu adjustments. Select Screen Settings, press Enter, and set Keystone Correction to 0. Startup Screen, None. No Signal Screen, Black. Blank Screen, Blue. Press the Escape key to return to Main Menu. Select Input Settings, press Enter. Signal name indicator off. Press escape to return to menu. Select option settings one. Press enter. Auto keystone off. Direct power off. Press escape to return to the menu and again to escape the menu. Unplug projector A and plug in projector B. Press power on the remote to turn it on and repeat the menu setting process. It's important to have the same settings on both projectors. You can pause the video here and configure projector B to these settings. Resume the video when you are ready. Once both menus are set, you no longer need the white projector remote. Before the power on sequence, Make sure both projectors are plugged in to the power strip and are on standby. Plug the control box into the power source and make sure it is on standby. Plug the cable from your source, PC, media, DVD player into the control box input. You can use the YAS-10 remote or the keys on the control box for the following steps. Press ALL to power up the projectors and the control box together. Press INPUT to select the correct input. 
We are using HDMI. Now press Correct, and the Image Shaping menu appears. Select the geometric shape you are using and press Enter. Make sure the flat surface is selected. If you need to return to the main menu, press Escape. Scroll down to and select Adjust Image Position. You will see double diamond images, one yellow, one blue. Pressing blank, then AB, toggles them on and off to isolate the images. This helps when making individual adjustments. Identify the image coming from the non-adjustable projector A, and we will adjust this image first. You may need to adjust the zoom and focus at this time. Once the image from the non-adjustable projector is correctly positioned, we will align the adjustable projector B. Press blank, then the AB toggle button to turn on the other colored diamond image. Before adjusting the other projector, loosen the adjustment screws on each side of the stack frame. At this time, adjust the zoom and focus as needed. Make vertical adjustments with the front adjustment wheel until the two diamonds are as closely aligned as possible. Once you have the images aligned, press Escape to return to the menu. Next, select Corner Correction from the main menu and press Enter. This will allow you to make adjustments to each corner. Pressing the Position button highlights the corner to be adjusted. Pressing the Correct button toggles between double arrows for coarse adjustments and a single arrow for fine adjustments. Starting in the top left corner, align the left yellow single line within the double blue lines by adjusting with the up-down, left-right buttons on the remote. Once the first corner is aligned, move to the next corner and repeat the process. By pressing the Position button, move to the next corner until all corners are perfectly aligned. It is important to start with good corner alignments before making any other adjustments. Press Escape to return to the main menu to complete the process for the Base and Side Adjustment, Side Correction and Center Point Correction. The Aspect Ratio Adjustment is on Auto by default. Adjustments can be made manually with the remote if needed. Once all corrections are made, press Escape to return to main menu. Press Escape again to exit. You will see this question on the screen. Do you want to view both menus overlaid or view one single menu? Select either. We will choose single and then press Escape. At this point, you should be ready to view the content from your input source. Refer to your product setup and user's guide for more information. For further assistance, please email projectors at casio.com.